This is Julia Bond of H4B Back Bay here at the Massachusetts State House in Boston on International Rare Disease Day. Gracie Van Brunt and I am here advocating Schwachman Diamond Syndrome, um, which is the rare disease that I have. What do you like the most about Rare Disease Day and the events around it? I just love the camaraderie of it and I love meeting new people and making new connections. My name is Carla Charter and I'm representing Duplication 12Q Syndrome. It's a genetic condition where um, there's extra material in 12Q gene and it affects everybody differently and there's very few of us, there's less than 100 of us worldwide. VHL is, is called Von Hippel Lindau and it's a genetic disorder where my body doesn't have the ability to fight off tumors. It's a rare disease where your marrow fails and eventually your bones get weak and you just feel really sick. As someone with a rare disease, how does the rare disease community and events like this, you know, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. It means I have a lot of support, people that support me. I've made a lot of new friends, especially through the Rare Disease Day. It was wonderful hearing from the other speakers and other patients. In the case with rare diseases, there are often patients, uh, caregivers who never meet. Uh, people with the same and similar uh, challenges. So it's important for us to get together and advocate on behalf of one another, access to um, research, treatments, um, and support networks. Rare disease awareness is just as important as the actual research itself. I've got involved in this business because I have a 10-year-old beautiful son that has a rare genetic disorder. We have companies like Genzyme and companies uh, like Shire and many companies that have been focusing on rare genetic disorders. I think it's absolutely critical that we work together in a partnership uh, because not any one entity or stakeholder in this community can do it on their own. I think so much of it rests within the pharma and the biotech. Um, all these scientists and researchers have been operating in their own little silos and I think a lot of groups are starting to bring these silos together. And if you could sort of give one overarching message to the rare disease community as a whole, you know, what would that be? Keep up hope and don't give up. So hope is what we're trying to get across here. We don't want pity, like one of the speakers said earlier here at uh, Rare Disease Day. We want people to be aware, and let's all work together to solve these problems. We are just blessed people to have Gracie in our lives because she has brought us together in ways that maybe we never would have. Sin.